Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So the patch notes for patch 7.1 coming on Tuesday just got out. So first of all, on Tuesday, the Crimson Front event is launching. That's that's basically the Frontlines mode from Battlefield 1 returning. You have some skins you can unlock for free. A cool looking Boris skin, a DXR skin, a player card tag and a weapon sharp. And of course, there are also store bundles since there always need to be some store bundles. So if you want to spend your money, there are those. But there are also some changes, especially to the recall so as we all know some weapons currently in the game are unusable especially in the dmr category but also some other weapons and with this update they are finally trying to fix those i put those guns on screen right now but that's the g428 bsvm svk vk m39 emr p90 dm7 dxr1 rpt31 pkp bp ak5c m m24tb and of course the desert eagle as i already said that's mostly probably aimed at like the marksman category since those guns are really unusable right now but also the other guns but here i also have to say if they just shot every gun once before they unleashed the 7.0 update they wouldn't need to fix those guns like four weeks into the season with change 7.1 but that's nice for you there are also some weapon sites that seem to have some problems and some sidearm sites now they also did some weapon damage changes or get generally weapon changes first for the ak5c the high power ammo now deals 26 damage instead of 25 under 50 meters i think that's basically done to align the damage values with all the other guns like the sky age those guns also do 26 damage having 25 is like an odd number and the hip fire recoil pattern change to have less pull to the right so if you are somebody that hip fires the ak5c should feel a lot better now now they also changed the scz3 where for the standard issues of the ammo you should run most most of the time they increase the dispersion by an average of eight percent and this i can understand i mean the scz as you could probably hear in my weapon guide already the gun isn't that great it's only really good like on rather medium range but most people would basically say it's the worst pp29 so nerfing the gun by increasing the dispersion by an average of eight percent makes no sense to me but well that's dice then for the type 88 lmg reduce recoil and dispersion by an average of 10 percent so it's above and they also changed the aks 74u the starting accuracy increased by an average of 10 percent horizontal recoil slightly increased rate of fire has also been adjusted from 650 to 675 maybe the gun now fits better since it's probably the worst smg but we will have to test it out now here comes the probably biggest change they touched shotguns again so what they're basically doing is they are making it so that the hip fire is worse on most of the shotguns but when you ads you actually the pellets stick closer together so you can have a longer one shot range or damage range basically so as for the mcs 880 the number one bug shot and the number zero bug shot aim dot sides you have the same as before so the gun isn't more accurate or anything but hip fire two times horizontal spread 1.5 times vertical spread compared to ads so your gun is a lot less accurate actually and as for the number four bug shot on this gun the aim down sides the pellet spread in patch 7.0 was three times as high as to the 0 0.0 bug shot and it will now be 2.5 times which means they reduce it by 0 0.5 meaning you probably can ads with the 0.4 bug shot and get a bit longer of a one shot kill range i don't know if it makes the 0.4 bug shot worth using since i'm mainly running the 0.1 bug shot but we will see and then for the 12m auto basically for the default barrel nothing changes but the hip fire is a bit worse and as for the shortened barrel what you will be usually running the aim dot side spread is a bit reduced so maybe you can stretch the range with this gun a bit again and the hip fire is as always way worse and also they change it so that the pellet spread on the 12m auto will now also slightly increase when firing quickly meaning probably if you hold the trigger for too long with the short barrel the gun will be even less accurate on range even if you ads and then for the nvk s22 a shotgun basically nobody uses ads stays the same but hip fire is obviously worse they increase the reload speed on the gun what is actually very necessary because i think you have 10 rounds in the shotgun and it takes like ages to reload and for the super 500 they probably made it a bit more accurate since they are typing aim dot sides 0.05 pellet spread compared to hip fire this might actually make the super 500 a better 
secondary now because I often had the feeling where even if I ADS with the Super 500 the gun was super inconsistent when it came to like one shot so yeah. Now some changes to specialists first of all. The recoil is M5 and the RPG 7v2 will now benefit from an additional rocket meaning if you're a tank driver good luck every engineer will now run around with one more rocket to fire at you. This also by the way applies to Crawford's deep pocket trait meaning he also gets one more rocket and they also increase the size of their humans by 5 to 10 percent and raise them up to improve visibility so if you couldn't get a kill before with the AT mines because everybody saw them no really everybody will see them and then some more vehicle changes but yeah that's the patch basically shotguns got i would say balanced out i don't know if they actually got improved since m not size for most guns seems to stay the same so they're probably Worse than fire, but still as good with ADS. I actually like this change. I think having a shotgun be this broken as they currently are in Battlefield 24 2, and especially the 12M, where you can just hip fire across the room, is really stupid. So I like this change. As for the visual recoil changes, well, I mean, dice test your patch before you launch it, and we wouldn't have this problem. I'm still sad that they don't just go to step and say, you know what, guys, we make the new visual recoil a toggle option in the setting. So everybody that wants it can just toggle it on, and everybody that doesn't like like it can just toggle it off but that styles they put so much effort into it that they don't want to have people just turn it off so you probably never see this and yeah lastly the new event i will probably play like one or two rounds maybe make a video about it but i don't think frontlines is that interesting from what i heard it's basically just grenade spam especially in 2042 where grenade and explosive spam is already that time having a game mode like frontlines will probably be cancer to play but yeah we will see and that's basically it for the patch notes if you enjoyed this video consider leaving a like and subscribing for more battlefield content in the future as always thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.